There are only two times in the entire Torah that we're told that Moses, Moshe, spoke lifnei Hashem, before God rather than to God. Both of those instances are in this week's Torah portion. There are actually one instance the Torah had taken a detour for a brief but important rendition of the genealogy of the Jews, and then it returns to the same scene. One commentator explains that the reason for this unusual phrase is that in this instance, Moshe is not speaking to God. He's speaking to himself, expressing some self-doubt. How is Pharaoh going to listen to me? I'm tongue-tied. I don't speak well. But God, who hears not just our speech and our prayers, but also our thoughts, decides to respond, to reassure Moshe, to build up his confidence. And with that explanation, we can better understand the unusual interaction between Moshe and God in last week's Torah portion at the burning bush. The commentators explain that that conversation took place over a week, seven days of back and forth. God could have said in the first 10 minutes, listen, pal, you're going down to Egypt to free my people. I'm in charge here. You have to listen. But instead, he wanted to make sure that Moshe had confidence not just in God, but also in himself. And that's why he listened patiently to each one of Moshe's questions, each one of his concerns, and answered them in order to make sure that Moshe believed in himself before heading out to become the next leader of the Jewish people. And that's such a powerful lesson for every parent and teacher and employer and coach. Of course, we need to make sure that our children, our students, our employees, our athletes take responsibility. They need to eventually, sooner rather than later, get to the deep end and learn how to swim. But we have to constantly encourage them and reassure them and make sure that they know that they can do it rather than just throwing them in and telling them to figure out how to swim on their own. And for those of us who need a boost of self-confidence, what better place to look than to the big guy upstairs? It is perfectly appropriate and healthy and helpful and cathartic when praying to God to admit to our concerns, our worries, our fears, our vulnerabilities, and to ask him for help, and then to concentrate and listen for that still, unmistakable voice, reassuring us that we got this, we can do it, because God only gives tests that we can pass, and he's always right there next to us, walking along the side of the pool as we swim across that deep end, watching every stroke, making sure that we can get across.